Welcome to Kilco. I am Brian, or Mr. K. I'm just going to go with Brian from now on because Mr. K, although I worked for Mr. T, uh, no one knows Mr. K at the moment. Soon. Soon the world will know. But uh, today we are reviewing Johnny Walker Red Label. Why? 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 Well, nobody likes it, apparently. And I actually am kind of fond of Johnny Walker uh, Black. It was one of the first scotches I drank kind of regularly. And I actually want to get a bottle of that, and um, I'm out of World Turkey 101, too. Oh, things I can't afford. Anyway, most people know The Walking Man on there. Um, I knew of it even before I got into whiskey. So we'll do the thing. We're going to give it every every chance. As I knock myself into things. I'm trying to rearrange stuff. I don't know what's working yet. No, I'm spilling it. I actually haven't had any Johnny Walker at all in quite a while. So I don't know what this is going to be like for me. I got my, my thing over here. I'm ready to look up stuff because... You know, taste buds and smell are still kind of shot. Oh. I've been getting a lot of fruit notes off scotch lately. It's weird. I like it, though. Fresh fruits. A little astringent, unsurprisingly. And it does have that distinct Johnny Walkerness is the only thing I can call it because I don't even want to call it peat because most people would not be able to smell anything remotely peat like in something like this or maybe I mean this is the kind of thing I use to introduce people into peated scotches I'll give them this or black bottle or something like that but I don't want to say ash either at least I'm getting something with this, but it does it is making my nose do kind of that, which is not great when you're nosing something when you kind of go, oh gosh. But it's honestly not as bad as I thought it would be, as far as the smell goes. I expected something much more kind of uh, alcoholic-ish. But there's this weird tinge. Even with my nose being the way it is right now, there's some kind of spikiness that's making you do you just kind of pull away from it <sighs> see if the taste has anything to go for it um, as far as the smell let's give notes I suppose slight peatiness fruit notes I got a weird ash thing for a second and that underlying astringent thing which I think is just because it's the red label which is what people shy away from when they want to have a sipper. So, here we go. It smells a bit overpowering when you're trying to drink it. Try that again. I only got like a, a taste and it really didn't do much for me. Citrus notes, a little pepperiness. It's just making my whole face squinch up, which I remember doing when I was first getting into whiskey, but with this, it's something else. It's not even the proof. It's even giving me a burn going down. I know it's 40%. I didn't mention that, but it's 40%. I would not say it's bad, but it is not a sipper. And I know this is the stuff they use mainly for making blends that seems to be its its thing is that Johnny Walker Red is mostly used for blending cocktails and I can see why it's not bad but there's something about it that just pulls you back and, and not in a good way well, it's not awful I'm not looking I'm not looking forward to finishing this really I'm just kind of like oh and I don't want to be negative about anything I'm negative enough in my own life let's be clear uh, I want to at least enjoy my whiskey as best I can without being too critical. But yeah, that... 
You know what it is? If I were to say, and this is going to sound bad, of course, it is... At first, I was getting ripe fruits. Now that I've had a sip, it's more like a fruit that's either just about to go bad, or it's kind of in that zone where it's ripened and now it's starting to spoil. That's that smell that's making me pull back. I don't know what that smell is called. I'm sure it has a name other than, like, rotting or rotting and decaying fruit. No, not good. But there's something really off about it. And it's the thing that's standing out most, unfortunately. The taste is altogether very brief. The burn is the thing that keeps coming back, which is strange. But it's almost flat for my taste buds right now, and that's, you know, uh, not helpful. But it's a typical kind of fruitiness that I get from some scotches. The pepperiness is gone now. Stuff lingers, though. I'm noticing it's kind of all over my mouth. All right, that's about all I can give for my personal taste. Let's see what this, this app is telling us about this concoction. I don't know how loud that is. I'm using a new mic. I don't even know if it works right. We'll see. Johnny Wilker Red? Walker. God. It's quality. Quality entertainment. 2.3. People do not like this. Nose profile for the general community. Keep looking at myself. I shouldn't do that. Vanilla, smoky, and herbal. Oh. That makes sense. Flavor. Spicy, sweet, vanilla, and smoky. I guess. It is a little sweet, but not in a, not in a way that I would really consider sweet, sweet. Like I get sweet, I get bourbons. Vanilla, I barely get. I usually get that from bourbons, too. Scotches, I get a lot of fruit notes and that kind of thing. And, of course, peatedness most of the time if I'm drinking something officially peated. And the finished profile for this is spicy, smoky, oak, and new wood. I don't get much wood out of this. It does linger like hell, though, so I don't know. Now I get wood notes from bourbon. This maybe? A little bit, but that's really noticeable. Okay, the official view. Color. I didn't look at the color. It looks great. I mean, it does have like a the thing. It does have a reddish tint. Almost. There's that. I don't have to look at my face. But you see how there's like a orangish reddish tint going off camera here. There we go. Which almost makes it look like a bourbon, which is funny. Almost. Not quite. Not enough amber hue. Uh, this just says bright reddish gold. So yeah, I agree. Official nose, hints of vanilla, and a powerful smoky malt. No, not really. <laughs> Smooth and sweet with malt balance by vanilla and spice. I haven't really locked onto malt as a taste yet. Maybe that's what's kind of what I'm glancing over. And the official finish, full and appetizing. Oh, all right, <laughs> with a distinctive spicy warmth. Ooh, use of words. Well, Again, it's not terrible, but I don't think I'd want to use this to introduce someone to scotch. I would go for the black label first, among other things. There's other things that don't have this kind of a astringent and peatedness, as I know this is a mix or a blend. So it's got some stuff that might be a little off-putting, other than the, re the general weird kind of spoiled fruit thing I got going on here for some reason. Again, I would, as sad as it is, I would have to agree that the general consensus is right. This is not a sipper. This is definitely meant for blends uh, as far as making cocktails and stuff. It's not bad, and I still like Johnny Walker as a default. Johnny Walker Black, specifically. Or Double Black, if it's available. But um, that's not so much. Um, I guess I should say uh, follow me on all the social needs or whatever. I have... Something. Something's going to show up, I hope, if I'm doing this right. And, um, 
I'll keep plugging away at these. Hopefully get this set up a little more organized. Uh, as, as it's apparent if you watch any of these videos, I am not a great editor. Uh, and I don't do a lot of changes and stuff very often, but doing what I can while I can. Uh, I will be thinking about doing some uh, Irish whiskey stuff next month as my, my heritage is Irish and I have lots of Irish whiskey that I just need an excuse to go and try. So uh, we'll see. Till next time, as I said before, I think in the last video, changing this to live long and prosper.